I'm coffeeed up. Laundry's in the machine. It's time to head to the studio. So the story starts in the apartment we were just in, where I had a set of Adam A7s. Worked in bedrooms, recorded friends, that whole journey. And then I moved into a rehearsal room, which was slightly bigger. And quite quickly, I realized that I didn't quite understand what I was hearing. Then came the Unity Audio Rocks. They weren't louder than the Adams by any stretch of the imagination. They had quite a large amount of distortion on them, which was quite difficult to kind of navigate most of the time. When I moved into the cabin, I had to purchase the Barefoot Footprint O2s. We had this huge shootout. The Barefoot Footprints just absolutely smoked it. At the price point that I was at at that moment, they were the things that were really landing all the blows that I needed to fill up the cabin when I was working long weeks, I quickly realized my ears can't handle these things. And for some reason, I was having a really hard time with tinnitus at the time, low drones, just pumping, not sleeping enough, too much caffeine. But I went to studio care and I said, listen, I need something that's gonna be a little bit more friendly to my ears. A bunch of my contemporaries here and mentors that I really respect, all mixed on ATC SEM 25s. Right out the gate, I had a mix to do the day they arrived. They sounded the opposite to the barefoots. They were really tight, a mid-range, super forward. And I didn't know if I could trust them immediately, but I had to get this mix out the way. And it was a mix A, no recall, client was happy. But there was a problem. And the problem was they weren't loud enough to fill up the cabin the way I wanted them to. So they went back into their flight case. I went back to studio care. And after very fine salesmanship, I decided to pay off a set of SEM 45s and take them to the studio. Alrighty. We're at the studio. Hey, Ray. Hello, Al. <laughs> if you enjoy what you watch here, then please consider subscribing. If you really enjoy what you watch, then consider dropping a super thanks to support the channel. So the SCM45 is a three-way system. It has our tweeter here at the top, the signature ATC mid-range driver, and then we have these two 6.5-inch drivers over here. As we can see, this is dual-ported. This is a triamp system. It's a class AB design. So it's 125, 60, and 25 watts over here. They have more than enough power to fill a room like the the one that we're in at the moment and I do not think for my personal uses that I need a sub. One of my favorite things about these speakers is the fact that there is no DSP. It's just good old-fashioned engineering and that's kind of it. On the rear there is a bass volume control and an input sensitivity control and a power switch. Nothing else. This is just straight up strong construction. ATC builds absolutely everything in-house, which is really useful. ATC is extremely well known for being super reliable. There's ATC speakers out in the field that have been out there for 40 years that are still working day in and day out. And because of this new tweeter design that they have over here, you can send your older ATC monitors to them to get the new tweeter fitted as well as service the speakers themselves. Something that I do want to highlight is the fact that these woofers are not the same kind of design that you see in the SEM50 or the SEM 150s, where is the SL design. These are a different design, which give a little bit more bottom end. The distortion figure is slightly higher, but in the realm of ATC, it's still very low and a lot lower than most other studio monitors around. I really like the way the ATC ethos was once described. I think it was in a blog post that might have been on Gearspace or something where somebody said that ATCs don't hurl abuse at you to fix stuff. They show you exactly what you need to do and how you need to do it but in a far more polite mannered way that doesn't wear you down over time. The one thing I cannot argue, however, is correlation. Correlation between what I hear in the car, correlation to what I hear on my tiny little speaker in the studio above the monitor, and most importantly, for people to be able to understand that whatever system they play on, they're gonna hear what they want to hear. For a lot of the clients that I work with, they don't have a good playback system. So when I was mixing on my other monitors, it sounded great in the studio, but either because of the room, my ears, or the monitors, that combination wasn't equating on smaller systems. And what's interesting with the ATCs in my room right now is that my referencing on different speakers is happening less and less as I get to know them more and more, of course. But also for my clients, they're really happy with the results happening at the moment. So that's my thoughts on the SCM 45s. Extremely well built, super reliable, and the correlation works for me in my room with my ears. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. If you really enjoyed this video, consider supporting the channel and dropping a super thanks. That allows me to upload more consistently. Most importantly, I hope that you're all looking after yourselves and you're being kind. I'll see you in the next video.